House Speaker Mike Johnson has said that he'll move forward uh, with a vote on additional <coughs> Israel aid. If Congress were to pass additional aid for Israel and only that, will President Biden reject it? So we've been very clear, my colleagues from here just moments ago, that we uh, will not accept a standalone. Uh, a standalone uh, would would actually not help Israel and, and Ukraine. It would actually delay the needs that they the the, the needs that the, the needed aid uh, that they obviously need uh, to fight. Uh, you see what was happening in Ukraine. Obviously, uh, the brave people of Ukraine are, are are fighting against a tyrant. We need to make sure that they have the the assistance that they need. We saw what happened in Israel just over uh, over the weekend and the leadership that this president has shown. It would it would actually Actually, it would actually not help them if we do a standalone, and we do not support a standalone. What we want to see is that bipartisan national security supplemental that passed overwhelmingly in 70-29 in the Senate, and we believe if the if the speaker were to put that on the floor, it would pass overwhelmingly. And so that's what we want to see. Uh, the president made clear to the in that conversation that he had just yesterday with leader leader Schumer, leader Jeffries, and the speaker. He was very clear about that. We need the speaker needs to move forward on the bipartisan on the national security supplemental, which we believe would get a bipartisan, uh, overwhelming bipartisan support. That's what we want. That's what we, we have to see. A standalone, we do not support. Did the president think that that conversation moved the needle at all? I mean, this supplemental has been at a standstill in Congress. So in that conversation with House Speaker Mike Johnson, did he receive any sort of <coughs> commitment that these two would move together? I mean, look, you saw, you heard from Leader, Leader Schumer, you heard from Leader Jeffries, they called on the speaker to move forward. Uh, we saw what happened over the weekend. We see what happens every day in Ukraine, every day. And if they want to move quick, quickly, if they want to do this in an easy way, if the speaker uh, wants to do this the easiest way pass possible, the fastest way possible, there is, a, there is a national security supplemental that is waiting, that is ready to be put on the floor. We know it would get bipartisan support. We know this. We've heard from Republicans. We know where Democrats stand, and so they have to put this on the put this on. Uh, you know, they got to put this on the floor. The speaker has to move quickly. Has to move quickly. On another topic, the Baltimore Bridge crash uh, is now under federal criminal investigation. Has the president been briefed on that, and has he been in touch with anyone uh, in the Maryland delegation? So what I will say is the president is regularly updated on what's happening in Baltimore. Obviously, the port uh, uh, moving forward with that is really important. Getting the bridge uh, back up, as you know, the Department of Transportation in the early days, announced $60 million to help in that effort. We're going to continue to talk with the Maryland delegation on what they need and how much this is going to, to cost to get that going. Uh, but the president does get regularly updated. There's investigation happening, as you just stated. I'm not going to get in, you know, I'm not going to comment to that. I'm going to let that independent investigation move forward. Okay. Yeah.